is Dakota Livesay chronicling another true story taken from the 1800s, a time known to all as the Old West. Today's story has a moral for those who partake of strong spirits. When we're through, you may decide to put aside the bottle and live a sober life. It was 1864 in Jackson County, Missouri. Two men, Dick Merrick and Jeb Sharp, had murdered a horse trader named John Bascom. The two men were arrested and put on trial. The judge sentenced them to be hanged, and he said it must be done within 24 hours. There wasn't much of an appeals process in the Old West. So on September 6, the townspeople frantically started building a gallows. Just before the 24-hour deadline was up, the two men were grabbed, sacks put over their heads, and they were led to the gallows. Ropes were placed around their necks and the trap door was sprung just before the deadline. The townspeople congratulated themselves on a job well done. Sheriff Clifford Stewart went back to his office to take care of the final paperwork. But when he stepped inside his office, Sheriff Stewart had the surprise of his life. There in the cell were the murderers, Dick Merrick and Jeb Sharp. At first he thought it surely was a mirage, but it wasn't. Within a matter of hours, the situation had been sorted out. It seems that the night before, two men had been arrested for drunkenness, and they had been grabbed by mistake. The two men were still too drunk to protest, and Merrick and Sharp sure weren't going to tell anybody they had the wrong men. This story should persuade any person of the merits of living a temperate life. Oh, one other thing. Since the judge had required the sentence to be carried out within 24 hours, and it wasn't, the two killers were set free. You've just heard another story from Chronicle of the Old West. This is Dakota Livesay.